I feel terrible. Not physically. The COVID jab's wearing off. It's now midnight. I feel terrible, people. I feel really bad. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't have a lot of friends. Honestly, I don't. Um, you are my friends. And I need to talk to someone. So I'm talking to you, my community. And I know it's a weird friendship. But it's a friendship nonetheless. I would hope that you guys think I'm your friend. So let, let's talk about something. I've been dating someone for a couple of months now. Um, actually, I've been dating quite a lot of women the past couple of years since my ex-girlfriend left me. And every girl that I date, I don't have them on social media. I don't put them in my Snapchats. I don't post on my Instagrams because I don't want them to get stalked out. I don't want to get doxxed or found out where they work. So all my relationships are private. But I've been dating for two years. And I've always got someone that I'm sleeping with on the side. I think we, we all have that person, right, that you sleep with on the side until someone else comes along. Well, anyway, this girl came along. We've been dating for two months. And I've been trying to keep my distance. And I've really tried to keep myself distance from her because I love staying single on the surface. But I like to take things really slow. And it's been going really well. I told her I loved her. We'd say it back, we had the best passionate sex. It was really lovely. Guys, it was really good. I, we, I started going out of her all the time. People were meeting her. I wanted her to meet my, my parents. I really, really liked her. And then she went out on her own with her friends to a nightclub when I had my daughter. So I thought, fuck you. That hurt me because I felt left out. So what did I do? I went out on my own on Friday to London because this girl messaged me on Instagram wanting a party for me. So I went there out of curiosity and I, and the girl knew. The girl that I liked and was dating knew about it because I said, this is only gonna make things fair. I went to meet this girl. Yeah, I really fucking like this one. We, we kissed twice. She initiated the kiss twice because I never make the first move. Um, she's on my mind constantly. I'm thinking of her all the time. I'm thinking of her right now. So I've been hanging out with the girl I have been dating for the past two months. I've been hanging out with her for the past three days. We went out last night and um, I can't stop thinking about the other girl in London. And she sent me WhatsApps and she, she's thinking of me and she misses me. I feel the same. And then tonight, I, I just came out of it and I told her the truth. I just said, the girl that I met, I really like, I fancy her. And that hurt her. She's upset. She packed her bags and she wanted to go home. So I took her to the train station. Hence why I have the jacket on. It's just funny, isn't it? It's just, I didn't want this to happen. I didn't think this would happen. But now, now I've broken up with someone that I really, really liked just because I fancy another woman. But I really, 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 oh my God, here we go again. Life is so stupid. Guys, I'm gonna be vlogging every second of how I feel for this whole thing, but right now. Fuck, man. I really found, all I can think about is how much I fancy that fucking girl. And guys, I don't say this often, but this one, I'm not joking. She's, I really fancy this one. I think she wants to meet for London tomorrow, so you guys are coming with me. I feel really bad. I feel really bad for the girl that I was dating. Look at the time. 10 past two in the morning. Guys, do you like the blur? Listen, me and the girl are talking. She can't sleep. I can't sleep. I'm just excited. I'm about to work out. My arm is dead. Seriously, the COVID jab is killing my arm. I can't even lift a bloody fork, let alone a bloody weight. I'm gonna do it anyway. But guys, me and this girl are talking. We ain't stopped talking. Guys, if this is a joke, if this is a prank, I feel like she's, uh, hey, I'm telling you now, this is the best looking girl you'll ever meet in your life. This is the best looking girl, 10 out of 10, you know, 10 out of 10, best looking girl. I, I, honestly, I'm asking her now if she's pranking me, is this a joke? She says she likes me, I say I like her. Guys, this might be the one, this might be the one, this might, I'm not joking, I'm 29, hey, this might be the one, people, this might just be the one, man, because... If this is real, if what she says is true, then holy shit, this is going to get dangerous real quick. I don't know what to tell you. I'm excited. Also, I'm just, I, hey, let's go, my friends. Let's go. Come on.
Life is fucking weird. Life is weird. Just when you think everything's calm and everything's settled, no, mate. Saint boom happens. Mental. Fuck, how's this gonna end, huh? Jeez, strap in, boys. We're in for a long one. Christ. Right, I'm gonna work out. The time is 17 minutes past one, two. 17 minutes past two in the morning. Let's get this workout done. By the way, she wants to meet. Seriously, she wants to meet today, London, for our first date. <laughs> Fuck. So far, hey, effort's going great. Oh, man, this is mental. Oh, man, you know when you meet someone and you just want to be more than what you are? This is how she makes me feel. I want to be more than what I am. I'm going to work my fucking ass off vlogs every day, telling you, keep on motivating, keep on going. Guys, get up, get out of bed, get in the shower, eat right. Let's go. If I can do it, you can do it. Positive vibes, people. Let's go. Well, there you go. That workout took three hours. Dedication, my friends. It was a very hard workout. Yes, sir. -y. Hi, it's 20 to 1, and today's going to be a really good day. I want to say something, though, boys. Yesterday, I had the worst day of my life. Seriously. Well, it felt like the worst day of my life. I made an apology video because I drunk again, and you guys are still mad at me. Why can't I just... Why won't you accept my apologies? It, I, I just feel like it's... Honestly, I feel like I'm at a point where I just, there's just no point in me apologizing for anything because you guys just keep on hating me. Trying to be better, trying to do right, trying to be a better person. I love you guys so much, but my gosh, you really like to hate on me. I love you guys to pieces. You know, you treat me like, uh, like a criminal, like I've killed someone. I just want to let you know that I'm, my video yesterday that I made, it got more hate than good. What the hell? Okay, anyways. I've said what I said, I did what I did. I'm moving on because there's no point even, there's no point dragging this on. I could have carry on. Right. Guys, life is so weird, you know that? Okay, yeah, um, yeah, okay, let's think. Um, I haven't had anything good to eat in about two days. Let's go get something good to eat and let's go see my mum. And also my mum's selling puppies. Seriously, my mum's gonna be selling, she's got like 11 puppies for sale. So I wanna go vlog the puppies before they go. Um, yeah, and I just lost a bit of time with mummy. So, food, then mummy, then I'm going to London. That's it, that's the plan today. I love vlogging, I do, I love vlogging. I, I won't lie to you, I'm loving this series, by the way. Let me ask you guys something. Leave in the comments right now, how many episodes of these vlogs, at which number do you think I'm gonna quit and give up? Because right now, my mind is set on 100. Seriously, I want to vlog 100 days in a row. Yep. I'm not joking. I'm loving it, the vlogging. I know there's a lot of ups and downs, but um, it's real, it's reality. And um, you're actually seeing something crazy develop right now. I've got a massive crush. Like, I haven't felt like this in another 10 years. Like, seriously, I've never had a girl this good looking liking me back. I don't care about anything anymore. All I wanna do is vlog every day and try and become the best to my ability. Right, come on, let's go. Let's kick it like three. Come on. I haven't ate anything. I'm too nervous. I'm actually nervous. Me. Gross fucking gore. I'm nervous. Oh my God. Because we're meeting at four o'clock. It's 20 past one. I'm nervous, boys. Okay. Okay. I better go see my mummy. Guys. It's nearly 2 p.m. I've got a, ta a tuna pasta. And I've got sweet corn. And obviously I've got pineapple. Because pineapple's bloody awesome. And an orange juice. But I'm not hungry. One bit. I'm, I, I'm just not hungry, one bit. I don't know, excited, pumped. I don't know, I'm not hungry, man. For the once, I'm not hungry. This has never happened before. Fun, man. Let's go see mum quickly. Oh, man. Guys, I just found my mum charity shop. In a oh. charity shop. Come sit down. You can't beat this. Oh, no. No, just for a second. Yeah, let's put the, put the chair back. Guys, it's my mum. Say hello. Let me open the, the door. Right, what's so important to get me out in the coming, driving 100 miles an hour, I believe? Uh, I, I did not drive 100 well, miles an hour. I only got in about 12 minutes. All right, let me show you something. I am, um, oh, what do you think of this girl? What do you think of her? That's the girl that I was dating. I put my glass on. Oh, she's pretty. Yeah. We dated for a few months. She's oh, lovely. Really yeah. lovely. Yeah. Mum, I went out on Friday. Uh-huh. Met another girl. Oh, I fucking love this. Oh my God, not another one. Mum, no, mum, mum. No, no listen. just stop, No, mum, listen. You can't keep mom, doing Mum, 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 let me show you. Mum, listen, last night, I broke up with that girl on the spot. Oh, what, well, this one? Yeah. Oh, the poor girl. Mum, but the new girl, you've got to take a look at her, Mum. What do you think of this one? 
Mm. What's that? What do you mean? Mm. What's that? Goffing, like. Yeah, goff. Yeah. No, she's, I mean, she seems okay. But yeah, what's wrong with the other one? Oh, Mum, right. look at that. That is. Look it at depends that. Depends what you Mom, like. Mum, look at her boots. They're made for walking. Mum, let me show you this now. She sent me a picture of her just coming out of oh, the shower. No. She just came out of the shower. Oh, here we mum, go. mum, 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 mum. Okay. Is she beautiful? Uh, Mum, look at that properly. I don't know what you're seeing her. <laughs> what the fuck are you on about? Look at that! Well, she looks like a, she's just doing this. But Mum, I'm in love with this woman, man. I'm, we're meeting in one hour's time. Oh, Mum. Oh, that's why you're so excited. Mum, I'm excited, man. That's why you're I got a love bug. hundred mile an hour. Mum, I've got the love bug. I'll let you go. i let you go. Um, oh, no. Go, go shopping. Mum, I've got to go to London. I love you. Give me a kiss. I love I you. I love you too, Mum, I'm... Oh, dear. I wish you'd leave the poor girls alone. I love you, mum. Why are they really going to start on you? Keep doing this. Trains in 10 minutes. Um, let's bring the, the vlogging camera. I'm not going to go on social media. I'm not going to touch my phone on this date. I don't want to. I just think, all you boys out there, listen. Don't go on your phones if you're going on a date. Just stay off your phone. Just shut it off. Don't bring it with you. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to go on my phone until tonight when I'm back here. So, let's go. Guys, you won't actually believe this, but it only took 38 minutes to get to central London. 38 minutes in a car it's like two hours first i want to show you something crazy the, the the train station here look at the name king's cross train station does that ring any bells because there's a really famous movie we're going to talk about it's called harry potter right check this out platforms nine and ten but wait where's platform where's the other platform boys check this out are you ready People will come here and just take pictures. I love it. Right next door, you've got a store you can buy Harry Potter merch. What? Yeah, hi, I'm looking for the exit because I don't know where to go. The exit? Don't give me that look. We went to dinner and then, boom, I woke up in bed. We had 